Demetrius Johnson 2621 has hit the trifecta in terms of unpopularity. He's in a weight class that struggles to attract casual fans, his lack of trash talk means that said casual fans can't hear him over their knuckles dragging and he's quickly wiped out every legitimate contender in his division with little trouble. So he's the best of the best, but no one cares. Heck, he's so good it's unfair, every time we think someone's found a weakness, Mighty Mouse just perseveres and then shores it up. Joseph Benavides gave a very close fight for the inaugural belt but, in the rematch, the champion found the gap in his defense and laid Benavides out cold. John Dodson clipped him when he changed stances, but found no openings the second time around and was utterly dominated. There is nothing that Johnson cannot do. His punches and kicks carry wicked power and he can throw them in combination. In the clinch, he has liver dissolving knees and concussive elbows which all distract from the fact that he is a beast of a wrestler. His top game is suffocating even if he can't get a submission which is FYI, he often does. He's not a jack awful trades he's a king. The only way to even make it close, it seems, is to not give a damn. Tim Elliott was supposed to be one of the lowest quality opponents Johnson had faced but gave him one heck of a fight. He went in close, wrestled him, when he got taken down he attempted submission after submission and truly rattled the champion. Johnson would recover his composure and win 4 out of 5 rounds but it seems the best way to fight the champion is to not respect him at all. Ray Borg whoever told Ray Borg 112 that Taz Mexican Devil was a good nickname needs to be barricaded inside a YMCA locker room the day every old man decides to blow dry their privates. The man's last name is Borg, he sounds like the newest model of Terminator Y ruined that with an assault on the English language Borg is a typical boxer wrestler. His best work presents itself when he can grab an opponent and drag them to the ground. There, he'll work short punches to score points until a submission opportunity presents itself. He won't build towards a submission the way a bona fide submission fighter would, but he is competent enough that opponents can't get complacent on the ground. On the feet, his punches are smooth and he carries power beyond that of a typical flyweight, but where Borg really sets himself apart is that he is dynamic on the ground. Perhaps because he is rather stocky even for a flyweight, Borg has to work harder to maintain position and go for submissions. As a result, he's always getting reversed or dragged and he's exceptional at turning it right back around and regaining position. It's not the most technically sound way to win fights, but it means that Borg can fight his way out of a tough spot on his back. An invaluable skill considering his next opponent. Prediction Way analyzed both fighters for the same reason, we say hello to everyone at a party reluctant obligation because one of these guys is Demetrius Johnson, and the other one ISNT. Demetrius Johnson via submission went to share your opinion why not write for us previous post previous next post next.